Okay, hi again. Uh, it's been a while. Turns out I'm a big liar when I said I was gonna do this quickly, but uh, <laughs> well, here I am. We'll see how many more of these I can come up with, but I have a few ideas for part 3 and 4 to start with. Uh, for this time, I thought we would look into uh, pixelating the screen. So that means uh, taking the entire application surface and drawing it in a pixelated uh, with a pixelated shader. So let's get to it. So now um, I'm going to make a new shader. Call it shape pixelate. And we're gonna just keep it like that for now, because if you want to draw the application surface, the application surface is a thing in Game Maker that, uh, when you're not drawing to any particular surface, you're drawing to the application surface, and Game Maker automatically draws the application surface at the end uh, of each of the draw events, so that your entire screen is drawn nicely. Now there is a way to turn that off and draw it manually in with and when you do that you can draw it with a shader. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna do uh, uh, application surface draw enable. Set it to false. So uh, I think now if we start the game it's actually gonna just be black. Nothing's gonna be drawn. Yep, it's black. Because Game Maker is not drawing the application surface automatically anymore. So we're, g we're gonna have to do it, and I do it in the draw GUI end. I think that's the correct way to do it, although correct me if I'm wrong. Might be a better like official event, maybe post draw, I don't know. Uh, Draw GUI end and we do draw surface application surface zero zero come on there we go and it's back there we go. So everything's back to normal, but now we have control over how we draw the application surface. So let's get into this shader. In order to pixelate, you are basically removing information from the texture you're drawing. And we are going to need a uniform back to size variable that we're gonna send in from Game Maker if you remember part two. So and we want that size in order to determine how big the actual the actual size in pixels and let's make it simple for now and just have a flat uh, float uh, pixel size. Set it to 10. So that means each of these, if I'm drawing everything in, uh, if I'm pixelating everything, each of these, each each of the little blocks will be 10 pixels wide and high. <coughs> so the first thing we need to do. Uh, I'm gonna explain this all when it's done. It's sort of hard to explain in advance what I'm thinking. So first thing we do is we translate this to my uh, let's say real text plus which is this times size. So 
this is a vector 2, so two float values between 0 and 1. So if this is our texture that we're drawing, this is 0, 0, and this is 1, 1. Uh, and we multiply this by our actual pixel size. So that means that we get 0, 0 over here, and um, for our application surface, which is 1280 by 720, we'll get 1280 by 720 down here. So that means each pixel knows its actual coordinates on the screen. And we'll use these to do another back to, uh, let me think, uh, let's call this floor text pos because now we'll do floor um, real text pos divided by pixel size times pixel size and you might be thinking oh you're dividing by pixel size and then multiplying it back up it's not going to be difference but then you would be forgetting the floor. So let's have an example here. Let's say the your this is the ninth pixel in X uh, in uh, let's make this five actually because that's what I had in my in my head before. So we are the ninth pixel from the right. So like someone over here. Then we are uh, taking this, the real text pose, which is 9. And forget the y value now, just think of the x. Uh, and we divide it by pixel size, which is, which is 5. That means that's 1.8. Then we floor it, which means we remove this and just make it 1.0 and then we multiply it back up by pixel size times 5 equals 5. So we've gone from pixel 9 to pixel 5 and this is actually the same let's say we are pixel number 5 then we have <coughs> then we have uh, 5 divided by 5, oh sorry this should actually be 5.0 so we don't get an error because uh, a GLSL is picky with floats. <coughs> anyway, if we're pixel 5 then we have uh, 5 divided by 5 which is 1, we floor it which is still 1, multiply it by pixel size and we have 5. So that means everything between 5 and 9 is going to be 5. And then, in order to do the texture 2D, we need to convert it back down to coordinates that between 0 and 1. So, uh, let's say back to uh, texture position equals floor text post divided by size. And then when we grab the texture, we are not going to use our the normal texture coordinates that we get in, but we're going to use these modified ones which culminated in this texture position here. And that should be it for that. I, if you, I will go through it again because we'll revisit this. And then in character here, draw a GUI end. Do the standard stuff as you should remember from uh, part one and two. If shader is compiled, shader pixelate. Uh, I usually put parentheses now from the 
around this because I like I like it. So if the shader is compiled, shader set. And as you remember, we had this uh, uniform vector 2 size. So we need to set this uh, in here. Let's just do var, var s shader get uniform. Uh, and the name is size. Shader set uniform float. Uh, the ID is S, and the value we're gonna uh, make sure it's correct. We're gonna do surface get uh, with application. to copy that because I'm lazy. Okay. So here we have the shader. The shader is compiled. We set the shader. Uh, we find the variable size inside the shader. We set it to contain two values, the width of the surface and the height of the surface. Then we draw it and we reset the uh, shader. And actually, uh, like this, if the shader is compiled, then we do this. If it's not compiled, we don't want it to be black like before, We just then we just draw it normally. Actually, I had a problem with this. I tried uh, playing one of my games with a friend yesterday and his computer was really old and didn't have like the latest DirectX or something so shaders didn't compile and then he just said stuff was not showing up because I didn't put this in there. So you want this in order for people with older computers to play your game as well. And let's see if I messed something up. Or if it actually is working. Hey, look at that. It's pixelated. I hope you can see. Maybe it's just a different kind of bad quality on your video. So, in order to make it really clear, let's just change this to like 20. So now the pixel size should be r really big. There it is. Look, our character is just two pixels. So that's how you can change the entire look of your game. I use this for example if you want like a real example uh, when I have a pause menu in my game when the uh, game pauses I create a screen and then I don't pixelate it but I like reduce the saturation of uh, everything so it's almost black and white so that looks really nice uh, so that's something you could use this for you can also make sh change so that this pixel size is not actually uh, like a constant like this we can have it set from game maker uniform float uh, Pixel size. Uh, we can have something here called uh, create a variable here in the in game maker called pixel size. Uh, let's say if. Uh, I think 
this is yep let's use this mouse wheel up uh, pixel size plus plus mouse wheel down you reduce the pixel size uh, we can do this. Sorry, something happened. Um, pixel size equals uh, maximum of one, and I can pixel size minus one. So this means we can never go below one. If pixel size minus one is zero, then we're gonna pick the maximum, which is one. And we don't have an upper limit, so we can increase the pixel size really far. And here we need to do like this, pixel size shader get uniform. I can't seem to hit, hit the X size. Uh, Shader set uniform F uh, pixel size, and the value we're going to send it is this value. And that should be it. And look at that, I can increase the pixel size mm -hmm. a lot and reduce it back down to one. And basically a pixel size of one is just doing nothing. So it's just a lot of math unnecessarily in the shader. And that's pixel size 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All the way. And this is, of course, like this could be used for like a room transition that looks nice. Yep. I think that's it for part 3. In part 4, I my idea is to do top-down water, or at least just water in general, like the wavy thing. I do that for water and I have the same shader basically for like trees that I use top-down, which are supposed to be like waving in the wind a little bit. It's really useful and I uh, really think you will think that too. So I might need to change up the background a little bit or at a water object or something. But yeah, that's for part four. Hope you enjoyed part three and we'll see if there are any ideas for part five on onwards. Maybe using like sending textures to shaders. That's something interesting too that I actually know how to do now. <laughs> um, so see you. Thanks for watching and have a good day.